Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. As you guys know, I am taking viewer requests for uh, different comparison videos and basically anything that you guys want to see on this channel, let me know. Uh, our other videos are blowing up right now, like should you get the MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro? It's at like 14,000 views, so go check that one out if you haven't. But this one is about the Mac Mini versus the iMac and specifically the 1099 versions of each. I'm gonna go over which one's better and which one you should think about getting if you're on the fence. Now these are both desktop class machines, but the Mac mini just got a really good refresh with a lot of new internals and really good performance. So I'm gonna go over that. Now, firstly, I do need to clear this up because yesterday's video about the Mac mini, um, I said I wasn't sure if the RAM was user upgradable. Turns out it is, but it's a pain in the ass. So it's not as easy as it looks. Um, there's really not a whole lot on it yet because again, this is just getting delivered today and tomorrow, I guess if you're in New Zealand and Australia, it's basically just going out to the masses. Um, and yeah, so we're not entirely sure how hard or easy it is. I mean, it's possible it looks like, but it's a little bit more difficult than you might think. With that said, you can save about half the price on upgrading your RAM. So anyways, let's get on with the video. So today's is specifically about this one here this 1099 Mac mini uh, viewer requested. So here it is right here. This is the base second tier up, I guess you would consider of the Mac mini three gigahertz, six core, eighth gen Intel i5. So a very good processor uh, comes with eight gigs of Ram, which is kind of eh. um, Intel graphics, nothing special there in 256 gig SSD. So if you're looking at this configuration, um, personally, I would definitely bump this up or buy it separately. Uh, totally up to you. Let's assume that the memory upgrade is not too hard for the average person. Uh, I know you have to have like, I think there's six torque screws that you have to get through first and you got to kind of be careful because of this uh, Bluetooth module, but you could get this base model and upgrade to 16 for probably about a hundred bucks. So about half the price, um, storage up to you guys. Um, but 256 is decent. If you guys have an external hard drive, that would be ideal. Uh, gigabit ethernet, do not get the 10 gig. You don't need it. Um, so yeah, 1099 for this. Now let's look at the 1099 iMac. Um, now this is where things get a little different because as you can see, which one looks different? This one. Why does it look different? Well, it doesn't have the Retina 4K display on it. This is the only one in the lineup that doesn't. Uh, in fact, all of the 27 inch ones have the 5K display and the rest of these have the 4K. But the reason this is only 1099, if, you if I click select here, uh, you will see very quickly why this is 1099. It's got a 2.3 gigahertz dual core, okay, not quad core, seventh gen Intel Core i5. So it's an older chip, eight gigs of RAM. It's not the fastest RAM, uh, one terabyte serial ATA drive at 5,400 RPM. Guys, it's 2018. This should not even be, this should be illegal for Apple to be selling this right now. So if I was gonna get this, uh, I think you can upgrade the memory yourself. It says uh, memory can only be upgraded by an Apple authorized service provider. I think you can do it yourself, um, but if you wanna be safe, you can get 16 gigs, but this is not good. Do not ever buy any computer in 2018 with a serial ATA drive. Get a solid state disk, 100%. Do not get this. Even though it's one terabyte, you know, it's four times bigger than this. Do not get this under any circumstance. This is slow. It's a very slow hard drive. I cannot, I would not even recommend that to my grandma at this point. Please do yourself a favor and do not get this 1099 iMac. If you only have 1099 to spend uh, and it's between this and this, do not get this. Um, if you can't afford to get this, uh, just buy this and hopefully you have a screen or something. Let's say you bump it up to 256, right? So you're looking good. You're at about 1300 bucks now. Now it comes with magic mouse. There's nothing special there. So this is pretty much the base of the base configuration. Now what's wrong with this one is this is a 2.3 gigahertz dual core seventh gen processor. This one here is a three gigahertz, six core eighth gen processor. So people are probably going to look at this and not notice that most people just look at the gigahertz and honestly, that doesn't mean as much as you think it does, at least on the surface. If someone said, Hey, I've got 1100 bucks. I need to spend it. How do I spend it? I have a screen at my house. I'd say get the Mac mini like 10 out of 10 times almost. So if you have the money for an iMac, uh, you're going to want to get at least the 4k display in my opinion. Um, and that will also uh, bump up some of the other things like a Radeon pro 55 a graphics card with two gigs of video memory. Um, stuff like that is helpful. I mean, I think the screen, you're gonna like it way more with the 4K display. So if we select this one just for fun uh, and I scroll down here, you guys can see this one also comes with this uh, 5,400 RPM drive. Don't do that to yourself, please. 
Um, I mean, if you really had to, you could get the Fusion Drive, but I don't recommend it. I recommend the SSD. So hopefully this was a quick enough video to kind of help you guys figure this out. And I know a lot of people are gonna overlook that um, SSD thing, and that's gonna be a problem. When you get the computer and it takes, you know, a couple minutes to boot up, you're not gonna be happy with your purchase. And I want you guys to be happy with your purchase. That's the whole point of me making these videos. Some of you guys are like, well, I don't have the money for this and that. I'm telling you right now, save up the money. Do not get this. You will regret it 100%. It's a very slow drive. Some of them that are in the 7,000 RPM range. This one is the slowest of the slow. Uh, just don't do it to yourself. Get the SSD. But hopefully that clears that stuff up for you guys. Um, leave any requests down below and I will go over all those comments and I try to help you guys out as much as I can. Uh, if you appreciate that, all I ask is that you hit it with a thumbs up, maybe subscribe if you like the videos, but I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.